Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and today we are checking out another one of the brand new Hot Wheels vehicles. So far we've checked out three of the brand new Hot Wheels cars and they have been absolutely fantastic. I've been really enjoying checking out these vehicles with you. So if you want to see the rest of the vehicles we are going to be carrying on customising them this week and today I have another awesome one to check out with you. But if you've missed the last episode, we checked out this thing, the brand new Chevrolet Love pickup truck. It's got a big old V8 in the bed there, and we turned this thing into the ultimate drag car. So make sure you go and check out that video, it was absolutely awesome. But I just wanted to say a huge thank you for helping us get to 800 subscribers. You guys are absolutely fantastic, I really appreciate it. And the support has been amazing we are trying to reach a thousand subs so if you're new to the channel and you want to support us with that it would be greatly appreciated but yeah let's go ahead and check out the vehicle that we have lined up for today and here it is this is what i have in store for today and this is probably my favorite car from this new hot wheels pack it looks absolutely awesome and this is the nash metropolitan custom you can see this thing just looks absolutely nuts and i'm not sure who made this vehicle but whoever did you are a genius so yeah but I just wanted to say before we got into this I forgot to mention we are doing a merch giveaway over on Twitter to celebrate 800 subs. So if you want to join in with that there will be a link in the description below. So as I mentioned I'm not really sure what this vehicle is based off. I'm guessing a Nash Metropolitan. I've never heard of one of those before but I'm guessing it's something American. It looks kind of American. The front of this thing actually looks a bit like a Volvo Amazon, at least to me. But this thing looks absolutely awesome. I love the little dice sort of air intake on the uh, the blower there. That looks absolutely fantastic. I really like that. But this thing has got some customization options. So let's go ahead and check out those. So here we are in the upgrade shop. Let's go ahead and check out what engine swaps we can get in this thing. So standard, we've got 350 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque. Not a whole lot um, compared to the other vehicles we've checked out so far. But we can go ahead and put in the 6.2 V8. Or we can put in the 7.2 Racing V8. As we've been sticking with the stock engines for the rest of the vehicles, I'm keen to do that with this one. I already know you can get a lot of horsepower in this thing, but I like to keep the stock engine in vehicles because, you know, that was the engine that was designed for it. So I'm going to do that. But um, we've got a reasonable amount of weight in this thing. It's pretty light, actually, in Forza Horizon terms. Only 2,250 pounds. So not too bad actually let's have a look at what other options we have in here we rear wheel drive as standard and we got some very very skinny tires on there um, so I'm not sure if we can upgrade the tire width we'll have to see in just a moment but we can go ahead and upgrade this thing to all wheel drive now I've heard this thing is a crazy drift car so We've done a street racing build, we've done a drag car in the last episode, so today I want to build this thing into a drift car. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put all wheel drive on the thing. We've got a spoiler option, which just completely ruins the appearance of the car, so I'm not going to bother with that. And also, drift car, we don't really want too much downforce. Now, the tires we've got the stock tire compound we got street sport race horizon race snow tires drag tires and we can actually get vintage race tires on this thing which is pretty cool i think we're just going to go with the street tires because we don't want too much grip for a drag car but we do need a little bit so we'll go with that now i absolutely love these wheels i think they fit the car perfectly so i'm not going to change up those we can change up the rim radius and make this thing like really low profile but 
doesn't look right in my opinion so we'll just leave it like that we can't actually upgrade the tire width which i kind of expected because those tires are like really close to the body so not too fussed about that we don't really need it we'll go ahead and upgrade the clutch and the diff and the drive shaft and the diff that's transmission that's the diff um i know my cars um let's go ahead and upgrade the brakes we'll need some good brakes on here we've got stock springs and dampers rally springs and dampers or drift we're going to go for the drift ones and then we'll go ahead and throw in the roll uh, anti-roll bars sorry and we'll put in a half cage i'm never really a huge fan of the sort of full cage look kind of ruins the car's appearance in my opinion and then we'll go ahead and upgrade the engine so we've got 350 as standard let's see how much we can get out of this thing i think probably a lot let's just have a quick look we'll go ahead and slap on all the best parts and we can get it up to 501 horsepower now i know you can get this thing up to about 1500 horsepower I think if you put the racing v8 in so you can get a lot more horsepower out of this thing but 501 horsepower with the stock engine is not bad in my opinion and i think that will be enough to go drifting so that is the thing fully upgraded let's go ahead and have a look at the paint shop and see what we can do over there all right so we're in the paint shop here now as standard it has this really nice looking patina sort of on the bonnet and there's a little patch of it on the boot there it looks really really nice i like that we have got some advanced paint options so i'm hoping we can keep that patina but let's have a little look so if we go in here no it isn't going to keep the patina unfortunately but something that is kind of interesting is the sort of first or the primary color i guess you'd call it does actually change the color of the wheels which i don't think i've seen that on any other vehicles in forza horizon 4 yet so that's pretty cool i like the patina on there it just goes with the hot rod feel of this car so i want to keep that but then if we change up group 2 that is obviously going to change all of that i think it looks nice with the cream and the blue so i'm going to leave that we have got advanced painting options on the bonnet so we can change up all of this which does remove our patina so not a huge fan of that what does paint group 2 change so paint group 2 is going to change that little lip there you can see on the front okay well i think it looks a bit weird if you do that so not going to bother with that we can't paint the car's mirrors it doesn't have a spoiler we can actually change the rim color so you can go for something like this if you want to which actually doesn't look bad how would that look in white that looks pretty cool i like it all blue but uh you can change the wheel color separately if you want to do that i think the blue does look really nice to match the body but it is nice that you have that option to change it if you want to something i have just noticed though it does remove that little writing and that little line around when you change the color of the wheels which is kind of weird don't know why it does that and then you can go ahead and change up the color of the uh mirrors uh, the windows sorry if you want to but not a huge fan of that let's go ahead and take this thing to a drift zone now and see actually how it performs so one thing I will say about the car is it does make good speed. I mean, I'm going along this road here and we're doing like 160 miles an hour, which is not hugely fast. You know, there are other vehicles that will go much faster, but that's pretty good for something with this amount of horsepower, I will say. But here is our drift zone. So it is an off-road drift zone. I hadn't realized that, but hopefully that will help us to slide a bit more. I feel like we're forcing the car to drift and it just doesn't want to so we'll leave it in third gear and see if we can get something going here would help if I could stay on the course but I think rear wheel drive might be the way to go we got 47,000 points not too bad how much 
Oh, how many stars is that? That's only going to give us two stars. So I'd like to try and get three stars on a drift zone. I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the... Uh, or downgrade it, whatever you want to call it, to rear wheel drive and hopefully we can get a bit more out of it. Alright, so I've gone ahead and uh, downgraded this thing to rear wheel drive and on the drive over here it seems a lot more slippy. We're at the same um, drift zone that we were at just a minute ago and let's give this thing another go and see how many points we can get. You can see it's already sliding around much much better. So I'm not sure how many uh, points we need to get this thing to um, three stars, but hopefully if we can get more than 47,000 points, then I will call that a victory. I'm not sure whether we're going to do that actually. Possibly we are. Yeah, I think we will. There we go. We've already gone past it. I'm not sure how many we need actually to get three stars. Let's see how many that gives us. Okay, yeah, that's three stars. So we beat our personal best from the previous run, and we've also got three stars, which is really, really cool. But this thing is an absolutely awesome vehicle. It is definitely my favorite vehicle from this new Hot Wheels car pack. There are a bunch more awesome vehicles to check out, which we are gonna be doing over the course of this week. We've already checked out a few over the last couple of days, so if you want to check out those videos, then they will be around the channel. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.